Okay, here is a setup for a medium sized young adult's birth eye tortoise male. Uh, he obviously has to be on his own uh, because males can be quite aggressive towards other tortoises. And here is an example of a basic setup which you can provide to your tortoise when the weather's just not quite nice enough for them to be outside. So we've got a containment tub which is two foot by three foot. You can, uh, I've bought this one from the garden centre, it's actually a goldfish tub, but you can arrive at something very similar by putting a bookcase on its back and lining it with a heavy grade plastic or using pallet squares or similar. It, I love these because they've got really high sides so the tortoise isn't going to get stressed trying to climb out. Um, it's also very easy to clean having a plastic surface uh, so you can, when you have a muck out, um, it's very easy to clean the sides and make sure you're doing a deep clean. So we've got some slab area. This is actually a, a mock slate, which is actually a slab, uh, which I've got from the garden centre. This is really good for helping to keep nails short um, and it also adds interest and texture for the tortoise. Uh, we've also got some slate area as well as some a mixture of compost and sand for the tortoise to actually sunbathe on using his basking lamp. Half buried flower pot for him to park in. Tortoises love it when they're sleeping, where they're the sides of their shell are touching. Um, I think it replicates what they would have in the wild, like they'd make a scrape or actually hide um, under a rock, rock area uh, in the wild. So um, these are a real favourite of mine to use and very easy to achieve. We've got two shallow water dishes. I've actually used glazed plant uh, sauces. Uh, I find these work very well and they're very easy to clean. Uh, we've got fresh water here for the tortoise to drink. It needs to be deep enough for the tortoise to cover its nose um, and its mouth in order to drink. Uh, so you're looking at around a centimetre at least um, for, a, for a medium sized tortoise. If it's a large tortoise you're going to have to be a bit deeper. Here I've got a mixture of bought salad which is the lesser of the evils if you have to buy cultivated food. And I've got Romany and Baby Gemin here, as well as a few um, spring plants. So I've got uh, Bittercress here, I've got Soft Thistle, and I think there's a little bit of Pink Nettle in here as well. Um, all really nice plants. Obviously we're always aiming to have um, natural food for them, because it's uh, more rich in fibre and um, natural vitamins and minerals. Uh, but tortoises, sort of, particularly straight out of hibernation, can be a bit reluctant to go straight onto weeds. So I always mix in um, a bit of um, bought salad because it's uh, they love it because it's got a crunch and it's very watery. Just remember, you mustn't rely on this completely um, because it is very high water and it's not got so much nutrition in it. Oh, it's a bit of a leaf there. We don't want the leaf. So I've also, you can't really see, but I've actually also got some um, cobs in here, some agrob cobs to add dietary fibre. Um, again, you want to try and sneak this in um, to add dietary fibre this time of year, particularly if you're um, using a little bit of bought produce. Um, tortoises have a very high fibre diet in the wild, so in captivity it's very good to try and replicate this by actually dusting on um, extra fibre. Uh, I've also put a mixture of multivitamin and calcium. I do this daily, particularly um, in spring and autumn, because they're getting less nutrition from even picked plants and they're not getting um, the outdoor sunshine uh, that they would get. So although we've got a UV and heat bulb, here for the tortoise, this is a 100 watt combination UV and heat. Um, there's nothing better than natural sunlight, so you, you should be a little bit more heavy handed with your multivitamins, um, particularly in spring and autumn. So this little chap, as you can see, is very busy. Um, he's warmed up nicely, the bulb is doing what it's meant to be doing. Um, the It's replicating natural sunshine, so he's warming to the core. Uh, one uh, mistake people make is they think that just a radiator would be fine for the tortoise, but actually a radiator only really heats um, the air and, the, and um, the very surface of a tortoise if it's right next to it. With a bulb, it's actually going to heat the tortoise to the core, and this is really what everyone should be aiming for. Okay, so that's an example of an indoor setup. Um, please comment. Um, uh, I'm very new to this, so uh, please try and follow me if you'd like me to try and do some more videos. And um, please come back with any videos that you would like me to try and do. Okay, thank you.